Hi friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. Today I bring you a neat and splendid project using the Graphic 45 Floral Shop Collection. Have you ever wondered what to do with that very last sheet of paper from your stash? Well, today I'm going to show you an excellent use for that 8x8 sheet of paper using some cutout pieces by Graphic 45. I'll leave you links to my supply list in the description area below and of course also to Graphic 45 and hey visit my blog I also have many more inspirational photos for you there along with supply lists and more tutorials. And if you just happen to land on this video, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. At Decorate Your Life, we focus on paper crafting tutorials and project shares, and we try to have a lot of fun along the way. Enjoy the video. We begin our project by trimming off that header edge from our 8x8 paper, and then we're going to take our paper and we're going to split it into four equal pieces. On our first quadrant, we're going to use an envelope cutout from our Graphic 45 Floral Shop Collection. We're going to hot glue some trim from our stash. And we're going to use some pop dots to mount our envelope pocket along with a little bit of hot glue so that way it'll adhere to the lace. Next we're going to take some die cuts from our stash and apply them right on top of the envelope pocket, right along that triangle form. Next we're going to take a tag from our cutouts and glue it right on top and then we can take a pre-made bow from our stash and hot glue that bow on top of the tag. You're now ready to attach your card onto your card base. You can use fun foam like I'm doing here or you can use pop dots. Keep in mind that because you've trimmed your papers down to 4x4, four four, your card base needs to be 4 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter. I then use a sentiment from the cutout pieces and attach it to the top of my card. For our next quadrant, we're going to make a tiny envelope embellishment. Now, you can make your envelope embellishment using the tools that you have. In my case, I'll be using my We Are Memory Keepers envelope maker. To make the sentiment a little bit dimensional, I'm going to pop dot it on the top and then glue it on the bottom. We then add a little bit of trim from our stash, a little bit of flat back pearls on top of it, and then a pre-made flower using our Graphic 45 flower dies. For our third quadrant, we're going to be building a card. We're going to use the die cut pieces by Graphic 45. We're going to use some flower die cuts. We're going to use some die cuts from our stash and some ribbons from our stash.
As you can see, I like to use Fun Phone as the backing for my cards. You can certainly use your pop dots if you wish. All I do is pretty much I measure it, I add my double sided tape and on both sides and then I adhere it to the back of my card. And now we decorate the top of this card with some pre-cut die cut pieces and a sentiment from the collection. Now, in case you're wondering how to make a card base, it is super simple. You're going to take a piece of white cardstock and you're going to trim it down to four and a quarter by eight and a half. And then with your scoreboard, you're going to score it right down the middle, which is the four and a quarter mark, and then you fold. And now we will attach the card that we just made on top of our card base using either fun foam or your pop dots. Okay, so what are we going to do with our very last piece of 4x4 uh, four four cardstock? We are going to be building a box that holds are two greeting cards. Now, the greeting cards measure four and a quarter by four and a quarter, okay? And when I held it up against my measuring mat, I see that because of the dimensions, it's my box is going to uh, have to be two inches deep, okay? So, we're going to do a little bit of math, but it's very, very simple math. Where's my pen? So we know that, let's say this is a square, okay? Our box is going to have to be four and a half inches. Four and a half inches, measuring here and here. And we know that it needs to be two inches deep here and two inches deep here, okay? So all around we are at two inches. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna add things up. We're gonna add this plus this plus this that makes eight and a half inches this plus this plus this is eight and a half inches, okay? Let me show it to you like this. We're gonna take two plus 4.5, which is this space right here, plus two is eight and a half. Then we're gonna take this side, two plus this space right here, which is 4.5, plus this space is eight and a half. So that means that we need a piece of cardstock, eight and a half by eight and a half, and then we are gonna score two inches all the way around. When we do that, we leave the space of four and a half inches. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we need eight and a half, which is the measure, what this uh, measures, by eight and a half. Next thing we do is we take our scoreboard and we are going to score two inches, turn it over, two inches, turn it over, 
two inches, and one last one, two inches. And we know that this is going to fit very well in here. Okay? So we put this to the side. And now we're going to take our paper and we are just going to fold along the scored lines. Like so. Okay? So this is what we have. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors. This. Okay. We're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut at an angle, at a, little, at a little bit of an angle, like so, and a little bit of an angle, like so. Take this off. We're going to cut a smidget off like this okay and the reason why we do that is so that way it's easy for us to fold so let's do a smidget here and a smidget here Okay, a smidget here and a smidget here. So this is what we have. Pieces going like so. And now we are going to go ahead and put our pieces together. You can use glue, like you can use um, score tape. Me, I'm just going to use score tape. Okay, so we have our box, alrighty? Our two cards are going to go right in here, and you can make some envelopes and stick them right in there as well. See, you can fit more than two cards if you wish, but we're just going with the two. Alrighty? So now we have to build our lid, okay? Let's go back to our measurements. We know that this was four and a half. We know that everything was eight and a half by eight and a half. So what we're going to do for the top lid is we're going to add an eighth of an inch to our eight and a half on this side and on this side. Okay, just one eighth of an inch. Reason why we're doing that is because when we fit the lid, it'll fit snugly, but not so much to the effect that you can't fit the lid on top. In other words, it's going to have a little bit of room so that it'll go over this box. Okay, so let me clean up this area. Let's see. 
here's the eight and a half mark. We're going to cut this down to an eighth of an inch after that eight and a half mark. So we're going to go here. And we're going to do the same thing for this side. Here's that eight and a half. We're going to go an eighth of an inch over that. Okay. And now we have this square. We take our scoring board and we are going to score once again at two inches. We fold, we fold, everything's folded. Okay, so now we have this. Once again, we're going to do a cut, but now we're going to cut straight because this is a lid and we want it to look real pretty. So we're going to cut straight. And over here, we cut that little triangle. Probably easier to hold this like this. Okay, and over here, we're going to cut that little piece of triangle. Okay, that's one. We're going to do the same thing over here. Since this is a larger part, this is going to be the straight part. Okay. And over here, let me hold it like this. This is going to be like so. And now we do this part. So now we have something that looks like this. Once again, we're going to add tape and we're going to fold this into place. Before we do that, we're going to take our paper and we're going to decorate it like so. Let's see, it's going to go like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just like that. So now, let's take our tape. Okay, I'm going to test it out. It fits nice and snug. What you may want to do here is 
grab a circle punch if you can. And right at around the center. Let's see, let's go ahead and mark this to where the center is. Let's see, this goes like this. Right here's the center. Okay. Here's the center. Just a light mark. You're going to take your hole punch. And just kind of sort of punch that. Same thing here. That way it's easy for someone to open the box see that way it'll be easier for people to open the box when they need to so let's go ahead and decorate this box and remember this little envelope that we did earlier that's gonna go right along there we're gonna add a couple of flourishes just like so. And here. And I think this is my last pink one. It's gonna go here. We're also going to maybe do a couple of things here. Maybe a little thing here. No, that's too much. So let's go ahead and do that. And And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mount this and double mount it. And let's see if there's a little bit of ink here. So we double mount it there. Take that. Open. Like so, just like that, put a little, oops, Just drop 
this one here. Let's drop this one here. And we can drop this one here. So now we have one, two, and isn't that beautiful? So what do you think of my note card gift box one sheet wonder? <laughs> tutorial. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope that you have found some inspiration here. And hey, don't forget to visit the Graphic 45 blog for more creative ideas. There's a ton of inspiration there. I promise you that. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave me a nice comment, the thumbs up, and share my videos. I certainly appreciate that. I'll see y'all once again real soon, okay? Bye now.